Maybe I'm getting a bit ahead of myself here, but I really, really want him dead. I really like my borders. Italy is a bit... Uh, if I had these two provinces, it would be a lot better. They are rightful Italian lands, after all, but... I think someone on YouTube would, uh, in the comments section went off about this being Italian land. Uh, he really did not seem to like the idea of Italy laying claim to Austrian Tyrol. I mean, YouTube comments, right? No one wants to work? Come on, Max, get out of my country. Truces are over, which should be okay. Nobody wants to coalition me. I mean, the Ottomans are the biggest threat to joining the coalition, and they are gone. I suppose John Mayan is as well, but the moment John Mayan joins the coalition against me, I need to get into a war with him so he doesn't get uh, uh, additional support. He's failing to do much against Russia. This is really... He's just inviting me into his country now, which is good. That's good for me. I want everybody back over to... Uh, Back over to India so we can sort this out good and proper. No trade ships, just uh, just transports are all we're looking for here. Shame there's no fort along this coast for them to uh, to stick around in, but that's okay. And I'm wondering if it's worth me building others. Like more uh, more frigates always help, especially for pushing my trade along here. Something that's actually hurting my money is the fact that I don't put much of a fleet over in these places to really drag that money out like I be uh, like I should be. But I guess it's okay. Hmm, look at the money that I could be skimming off of you guys. I'm thinking about it. Okay, let's let's get back to making that uh, that sweet dough around here. Time to build lots of manpower or force limit buildings. Manpower buildings no, probably force limit buildings. Force limit is what's kind of dragging me back here. Manpower too, though. They're both, they're both hurting me. Let's be honest. What gives me the biggest bang for buck, though? Hmm. All right, now about those uh, Regim McMental camps. Kind of difficult to say, but uh, looks kind of good around here, because it's uh, it's the right culture. So they are the ones that should be giving it to me. Oh, but it's no good if it's uh, not in a state, but I'm pretty sure all this stuff is stated. Even this, which is surprising since it's glorified wasteland, but still, it is accepted cultures. Okay, extra production efficiency is nice, but no need to overspend on it. Artillery fire is so good. Could you build four summit buildings for the age objective? Yeah, that would be good. It's of limited use now for what I have, but yes, potential for a large army would be useful for me in that regard. I think I have a bunch of uh, possible states, but I'm going to be using those when I integrate Naples. Which, if all goes to plan, shouldn't take too long. I don't know, I'm really tempted just to get somebody like you. You're a croat, though. No one likes a croat, so get out of here. Same with you. Give me a correct cultured um, diplomatic rep guy. I forget, aren't you? No, you improve relations. Okay, inflation reduction guy. Okay, not happening then. Back to India we go. It's a place to be. Shame I don't like taking a bite out of my army professionalism here. I do, however, like getting my cores. So this, for example... Oh, Saracuse I? Why would you take longer? Oh, right. Well, I didn't have a claim on two of them. Also gives PP. Yeah, I know that. Should probably embargo Spain, but uh, the truce, we have a truce in place right now, so should have done it whilst I'm at war. That's one of the things that I always forget. <clears throat> Is Naples your ally or vassal? 
Well, given that I am currently integrating them, I would like to think they are my vassal. I need them integrated faster, though. Don't want to improve relations? Give me something useful, please. Like, improve relations. Don't make me fire a level 3. I will. So, get all that done. All of that fully cored, as it should be. And then, probably going to be demand. Yeah, I figured. We need one for the burgers and one for the not burgers. I mean, this one screams uh, burgers right there. So, uh, there you go. And... There we go. Excellente. As I'm sure Italians would say. And there's actually an Italian on the uh, Europa team now. I wonder what he'd make of all the slanderous things I say these days. Right, you can at least meet him like halfway, right? Ah, <sighs> okay, things are relatively f fun. Danish conquest against the Swedes. Denmark is fighting against England. Don't like that. Uh, England would navally invade me and give me a generally bad time. But I also don't want to lose my dip rep whilst I'm integrating somebody. Oh, but France is involved as well, so I should be fine just joining in for a laugh. Okay. How bad could it be? Sicilians, they won't rise up. Uh, nonetheless, let's keep these forts active in case the cursed English do come along. That's what they like to do, anyway. On the high seas... Yeah, we have the advantage, but uh, okay, some of those are mine that are currently not in use. Not in any reasonable amount of use, at least. Jacob, you asked the Pope for dip rep? Yes, I have. I can't get it again for some time. I would love to be the next uh, courier controller, though, if it's not too much to ask. Okay, one year until I can strike Janmai, and thankfully they're doing really bad in their war against uh, Russia. So I would fight Janmai, and I would probably at the same time fight Vijayanagar, and reduce them to like one province, so that I still have a position to fight them. I don't know if that province should be Bidar, but still, I should fight them whilst I fight Janmai. John Mayan's still a pretty scary thing to fight. Better force limit than me, much more manpower than me, bottomless in fact. And, uh, well, there's also army quality. Uh, okay, everybody has a negative opinion with, of me. Um, it's a shame he's not my rival, that would make life easier for me. J -j 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 John Mayan. If only I could actually see myself here as well to compare. So look at me. 6 morale, 107 discipline, 30 siege ability, although some of that's from an event. Alright defensiveness. Good professionalism though. Tradition. Eh. John Mayan. More than 10% more morale. A ton of extra discipline. 152. His siege ability is so-so. He's got great defensiveness, which is... Ugh. He's even doing well on his professionalism, which is kind of scary. And I don't know where he gets all that tradition from, probably mauling his enemies to death. You could increase stability with the Pope? I could, but two stab is fine right now. There's no need for more. So I'm not allied with France, but we are in a war together. Thus working my way around the self-imposed uh, restriction. It's okay, we can still float about here, I think. No need to go to, war, uh, go to port. Especially while the English... Okay, the English are annihilating those fleets. Well, you can't win them all. Soon everybody is going to be back in India. We're going to restructure our army. Something fierce. So I guess everybody get over there. Next to Goa. I 
we'll sort out what we have and what we need. My max manpower isn't too shabby. It's tempting to sanction uh, or proclaim holy, holy war to get that manpower recovery speed up. But we'll try to do without it because those hope points can be very useful. Everybody's going to do is get over to Goa. I'm going to merge you and figure out how our army is meant to look. Okay, every single unit I have squeezed into one place. We could stack wipe John Mayonnaise's units if they were 19 or fewer in one space, but they're probably not. Mercenaries should be detached first and foremost. How am I going to do this? Mercenaries should be taking the brunt along with all the everything else, and I have to assume that combat width is going to be two more than it currently is. So combat width of 36, 18, and 18. Okay, good to know. So this, this is a super stack. guys sorted over there. Good to know. What about the rest? I mean, is it worth having another one of you? I think it probably is. Which means another 18 and 18. Then. I guess we can have just Merc Scrubs on their own, but even, even a small Merc Scrub unit should have a few cannons just so they don't get wiped. Same with having some extra horses on them, you know, just for safety. And then you guys... <clears throat> hmm. Alright, that could be a Merc Scrub unit. We'll get you some extras. This is the build-up. It's the exciting time in my book. How about that, um, not improve relations. Oh, here we go, dip rep guy. Just what I need. It's expensive, but I want you leveled up. I have the money for it, so it's okay. Could go above, probably should go above. Let's get some mucho points. Also, level one, are you kidding me? I want somebody to give me morale or discipline that I can boost up. So you're pretty good. There we go. I uh, could do it even more, but I'm too tight-fisted for that kind of thing. Okay. So those are the guys that could really merge together quite nicely. I, I should make another one. another uh, Another stack like that. So that would mean 18 over there, and another 18 cannons would be needed. I'd be going above force limit, but that's something I've had to accept for a long time anyway. And then the rest of you guys are just a uh, chopped liver. And you guys are just back up. Okay. Jake, remember, you're currently in a big war. Mm. Why worry? It's just Sweden. You saw the size of the Danish army, even if they are full of incompetence, they can still do something. Okay, I need to raise those cannons sooner rather than later, because uh, the truce is going to be up very soon. So, how many am I going to need? I'm going to need 18 of them. So, why don't I just say... 18 cannons. 0, zero 18. Please make those 18 cannons, and they're going to go over to wherever this guy is, so on you go. Didn't double up on any province, which is good. So I got another 36 stack. Four 36 stacks, and then a bunch of chopped liver. That's all we were really asking for. And I think some of these guys are what one might call surplus to requirement. I'd rather not get rid of my wonderfully drilled units, so... What's a good number that splits up quite evenly? 
36 becomes 18, becomes 9. 34 becomes 20. Uh, 17, so that's pretty bad. 17 is pretty bad. Have that. We'll get rid of you guys and get our manpower back for it. And we have a couple of cannons, which... Uh, just join the scrub lords over there. Alright, good enough. You're gonna need every last one you can get, says Tamu Salp7. It's difficult to believe anything he says, because we know that he's bitter about not being included in the Draken lineup. I did, however, buy the Draken game for the PC, so you might be happy if we go with that. Uh, when we fake out the Draken PC game. That is a case of when, not if. Might as well get all of our forts active here. So, John Mayonnaise. I have no... I have no reason to fight you? That's crazy. It's going to take me ages to get the claim that I need. I mean, I could fight somebody else and uh, make you co-belligerent, but I truly want to destroy you. And I'm certain I have claims on Vigiana. What? I'm pretty sure I would have said something to myself like, I'll do that later. So that's really bad. Really bad. Espionage idea is paying off finally. Well, I didn't even take the one to give me faster fabrication of claims. Naval professionalism might be a bit better of an investment, though. Trade efficiency bonus. Lovely money. Ooh, it takes a while to get that. A learned woman in our court. Or I get uh, five prestige. Which is an unrest, lassie. And we don't need that. Hmm. It's a shame I don't have the advanced Cassus Belly yet. Oh well, damn, I let that one slip. I mean, I could best CB, but then I don't get any ticking war score, which is no good. Let's get it for those uh, fabrication claim costs. Reduce it as best we can, since that's the one I need. Now I only need 15, which shouldn't take as long. Can't add rivals whilst at war. Disgusting. The first one gives plus 50% spy network construction, if I recall well. Hot damn, you're right. And cheaper advisors, that's pretty good. And, hey, another 10% right there, so we're pretty good at fabricating spy networks. 60% bonus, and if I hired somebody for it, we could get even better, but I don't think it's worth the cost at this point. Alright, there we go, another 36 stack. So I got, uh, I got you guys, at least. I do not have the leadership. I could probably do with another general, just in case. And I think this is a fine time. Let's see, bare minimum is already here. But I think it's high time that Adam Whitelaw tried his luck on land again. To siege, I'll take it. How many forts does Jean Mayen have? He's actually pretty crap at building forts, but that's because he's all about attacking. And that is where we're going to get our distinct advantage. We need to push forward and occupy all we can whilst he's busy dossing off in the wastes of Russia. <sighs> it's not going to be easy, though. But at least he has no friends whatsoever. So we can just blitz through, hopefully. The question is, how do we blitz, though? I can take on Nelson Mandela, and then we can maybe make an attempt on these three, and that lets us spread out pretty far. And then if I hold these two, we kind of have him pincered in the mountains. So yeah, the goal is to reach this as quickly as possible, which keeps him trapped there, kind of. But we have plenty of cannons, and he does not have very good levels of fort. Mandela should be easy. These ones we can kind of ignore, take them on later. Mm, 
supply isn't that great around here, sadly. Yeah, they're all right where they are. Not really sure what purpose these guys fill. They just kind of sit there. Whilst these guys are busy doing sweet nothing. Oh, my force limit went up considerably. I should have more cannons then. Just somebody to keep these guys safer, because otherwise they're going to be in a bad spot. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I should keep them quite a bit safer. And I would love to keep the spy network building in John Mayan for the war as well. Our mistress, the wheel, is almost upon us. Good point. We should um, we should let the wheel do its thang before we jump into war here. Yeah, but the truce is up. I swear if he coalitions me, that's... No, he won't. He's in a war. Truce is up with Vigianagar as well. How I would love to strike you. Vigianagar is... Uh, no, John Mayan is actually heavily in debt. If I could bankrupt him, that would be game, set, and match. That'd be pretty damn good, but first the spin of the wheel, and if it sets my units to uh, rubbish units, then I don't think I'm going to be fighting John Mayan until the next wheel. Scared of the wheel, Jake? Why wouldn't I be scared of the wheel? I wonder if we can reach the point in the wheel where it really, really hurt me. Ah, oh, everything was looking so good. Yeah, look at Luca grow. We're taking over Italy, and then at some point... We ended up in a no-CB war with the Mamluks. Oh, we made good work of that. Probably the best horrible thing the wheel ever did for me. And we were taken over. We were taking names. We got our little beachhead here in uh, Tunis. Things were looking just hunky-dory. And then we took more of Tunis, and I wanted to gobble up everything. And then, nope, the wheel said, you lose it. And then we had to, we had to break truce to take it all back. Man, it felt good to eliminate Tanis from the map entirely. So yeah, I have good reason to be afraid of the wheel. And it's coming to get us once again in just 10 days. Also, we've got some uh, scary music to go with it. Farther East by And uh, Andreas Waldetoff. Okay, it is the 1st of January, 1660. As we say, every five years we've got to spin the Wheel of Misfortune. It's been pretty good to us so far. Are we going to make it a... What would be a four in a row? If three is a turkey or a hat trick, what would be four good things in a row? Oh, are we going to land on cultural enrichment again? Oh, oh, oh. E mm. At least it was one of the better things the bear could get. Bear of gifts. 500 DIP to the bear. Goodbye, Wheel of Misfortune. So we go... Ah, oh crap, how does it work again? Dip. 500 John Mayan. Wait, no, that wasn't right. Oh. <laughs> Minus 500 Luca. There we go. Dip 500 John Mayan. There we go. Be nice to get it for myself. It would be rigged, Jake. No way. Okay, I do many things, but I don't cheat. Well, with the uh, with the spin come and gone, we can fight John Mayan. We even have the spy network to make a claim. And there's nothing particularly important for me in his lands to make a claim on, but we might as well claim West Barar, even if it is a religious center. But fortunately, having people in uh, provinces and trade companies did I see Observe Nation for one year? That would be brutal, says James Rose. Yes, you did. Okay, now we have our claim on the bear, and we can go to war. And I see a little reason not to. These are our main units that should honestly have all of our leaders. I don't know where Grand Jester is, but he's not there now. So who's who's the main siege one? That would be Whitelaw. Uh, Whitelaw's on the wrong side. Whitelaw should be over here. So we attack and attack some more. We have got to take Mandela down ASAP. Hey, I have a way into Patna through here. Might be an idea to make uh, make a quick uh, quick attack on it. 
So if I get two of you over there and two of you over there, it should be okay. We'll lead back up on all directions. What exactly does Absurd Nation mean? Let the AI take over? It means exactly that. All right, bear, this time I am the one to strike you. I'm not afraid of your bear claws. Well, that's, that's not true. I am terrified of you. But still, let's go.